Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. We are Deymar Lillo, Marjorie Ramirez and Giselle Perez, students of English Level 7, Section A, Operations, and the topic of this video is about marine lines. But what is marine? To begin, a marine refers to any permanent structure to which a vessel may be secured. Examples include keys, wharf, jetty, piers, anchor buoys, and marine buoys. Then, marine lines are lines or cables used to secure a ship at a port. The standard moor on most ships is six marine lines. Now we have rest line. Rest line are muting lines leading as short as perpendicular as possible to the ship for an aft line. Rest line restrain the ship in one direction. Headline are the mooring lines leading ashore from the fore end or forecastle of the ship. Usually form an angle of about 45 degrees to the fore and aft line. Headlines are used to keep forward part of the vessel against the dock. Stern line are the marine lines leading ashore from the after end or stern of the ship. Usually form an angle of about 45 degrees to the fore and aft line. The stern lines are used to prevent forward movement. The mooring lines are installed before to the arrival of the sparring side and lights on the seabed until the spar arrives. Or in the case of the polyester mooring lines, keep above the seabed using buoyancy devices. Screen lines. Mooring lines leading is a nearly for and aft direction, the purpose of which is to prevent longitudinal movement of the ship while in bed. Spring lines restrain the ship in two directions. Head springs prevent forward motion and back springs prevent aft motion. Spring lines run diagonally forward or aft from the vessel at a shallow angle to limit the vessel's fore and aft movement. There are some types of marine lines, sisal, hem, steel wire, polyethylene, polypropylene, polyester, nylon, chain, high and high MPE. Mm -hmm.